Report to you live here in Montreal, Quebec, at the top of Montreal. It's live for last week, episode 174. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So first of all, throwing back to yesterday, while we were still in Montreal, in the evening, we went to a hot spot for poutine called Dunn's, trying their Montreal smoked meat poutine here. <laughs> Prior to seeing this beautiful rainbow along the Montreal skyline, then attending the WWE Raw event at the Bell Center. Which guys, by the way, had some of these scenes, which were some of my favorites. including witnessing the legendary Montreal Olay chant in person. <laughs> the finish of Jey Uso's fight sequence, where he went up through the concourse to go through the fans, only to meet Sami Zayn at the entrance of the arena. Then in turn, Sami Zayn spending at least 10 minutes going through the crowd partying with them before his match had even started. And post-match wrapping up the night going to the area of these WWE trucks to get a picture with our boy Sami Zayn himself. But moving on, on to today, after the wife and I said goodbye to our accommodations for the night, we went on a morning adventure to see the sights and sounds of this beautiful city of Montreal. <laughs> And as you guys saw in those highlights, we went to the famous Schwartz to try out their Montreal smoked meat sandwiches. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. That one has a lot of fat. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You it, right? Mm. As well as their tasty fries. Mmm. They're good. Good too. I forgot how good these were. Then also being able to do this to surprise the wife. 
We got a surprise going to a restaurant in Montreal. Okay. She I doesn't remember. know what we're going for and what we're going to eat. Driving her to Dorval to meet up with one of our longtime friends, Carda. Oh. Yo, <laughs> Yo Janelle, were you surprised? Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, first time in the mini carpool, a surprise guest from Montreal. Yo, what's up, <laughs> long time, baby? <laughs> we next, all together, went to the local Mama Dumpling to have some delicious steamed and surprise fried Dumplings. It's fine. It's okay? Okay. Ready, one, two, three, cheese. And before we all parted ways, we went to get some bubble tea where I was able to try on my first pair of Eclipse sunglasses. I didn't buy one. Just can't see through these things. But yeah, on our way home, the wife made a great suggestion to make an extra two-hour detour through to Ottawa to go visit the one, the only, the little sister. So yeah, for dinner, we went to the local hotspot for Van Van for some Vietnamese and Thai food with Nika. We next went to visit her place to reintroduce myself to this little one, Nika's cat called Sage, to try to pet and Say hi to them. Hi, Sage. Oh, look. It's cute. Yeah, because you're the one that's allergic to me. Ow! Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I shocked Sage. <laughs> but yeah, before we make our four hour trek back to Scarborough, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who has made several cameos in previous Live from Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andre. Happy birthday, Andre. We also got a birthday greeting to one of my old YSIC buddies who I used to yell his name, Claudio, whenever I'd see him at parties. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Claudio. Happy birthday, Claudio. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I feel like I haven't seen since this live from last week episode. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Candice. Happy birthday, Candice. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Today started off with getting almost a four hour sleep, waking up to see this stunning red rainbow seen during a morning rainfall, and drive the wife downtown half asleep to make it for her day shift. But guys, while making my way back to Scarborough, I was like, here we go again with the car problems. As the Mini started acting up, showing a couple of these warning signs on the dashboard, a charging malfunctioning issue with the battery, and this high engine temperature warning. So as I tried to increase the air vents and the temperature in the car to alleviate the heating problems with the engine, the output from the vents unfortunately had minimal power of air blowing out, as well as the air temperature that was coming out wasn't even warm. So after a couple of stopovers with my engine having high temperature issues, I was able to go home to take a little bit of a nap before going and buying some engine coolant from the store and locating as well as refilling up my engine coolant compartment for the Mini to stay cool. And although the engine temperature problem that we had was alleviated for the time being, tomorrow I'm planning to take the Baby Mini into the shop to get that battery issue looked at sooner rather than later. But moving on, now stuck at home with no car, pretty much staying in to watch some TV and edit some live from last week videos, just like what happened last week. I saw this glitch on the screen while watching a replay of WWE Raw on the TV today. I noticed something of what kind of looked like a glitch once again, of which after I screenshot this QR code had actually brought me to this image, which I'm curious to learn what it's about. Maybe finding out what it actually is sometime in the future. 
So after I left y'all last night, I actually forgot to tell you guys about something that we got from our recent trip in Montreal that we were able to enjoy back here at the condo. These famous Montreal style bagels that the wife had passaloubonged from our trip. Cheers from Montreal. Good. Now guys, on to today, where I got up after a six hour sleep last night, remembering that I had to drive the Mini with its battery warning light on. So nervous that any time during this 19 minute drive to the shop, that my poor baby Mini would just stop all by itself and stall on the road. I was lucky enough to get it safely to my mechanics at the Red Line Automotive Shop. But yeah, once I handed over my keys and left the baby mini there for them to check it out, for the first time in a little while, I had managed to take the TTC back home. And guys, fitting it in their very busy schedule, just a couple hours later, Redline Auto had called me back with all the issues that they found with the mini. And going in, knowing that this repair is gonna cost a pretty penny, I came to terms that the damage to my wallet is going to cost me about 2.6k aka the same price I was paying for a mortgage payment which I had luckily already paid off. But the good news that I heard is that the mechanics will get the job done quickly and I'll be able to get the mini back within the next 24 hours. But until then, it looks like I'll have to go back to doing the things that helped me save money in the past, resorting to making and eating some almond and peanut butter sandwiches once again for the time being. Anyways, on to this evening after my friend Syrah had asked me to play with her volleyball team once again tonight. I rushed myself to find out if I can start up the Baby Rouge once again. And after taking a couple hours to recharge the motorcycle battery, she was able to start back up, meaning that I would be able to make it to play some volleyball on Cyrus' team at Havergal once again. After we had a couple of good games with the team this evening, when I got home, the wife role-played being an Uber delivery person by going down and picking up some food from the lobby oh, so good. that we actually haven't had in a while. <laughs> some Korean fried chicken from the one, the only, the fry for us to enjoy for dinner. Cheers. Mmm, oh. mm, the fry, the fry. Mm. And yeah, before we finish up for the night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my coworkers who I see every so often working on the south side. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Ramos. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Today, on a decent six hours of sleep, I accompanied the wife to her Pilates class in North York and decided to visit this place close by with these beautiful and fun paper lanterns on display at the local Mel Lassman Square at North York Center while trying to take some videos of myself included in the displays here, even finding out that the cherry blossoms had finally bloomed, and enjoying all this marvelous city wildlife up close and in person, while relaxing on these Muskoka chairs that I found 
sunbathing and trying to get a tan. But moving on, after getting a pleasant afternoon phone call from the guys at Redline Automotive, we quickly made our way down there to see and reunite with the Mini. Checking out under the hood all the new parts that were installed. Finally paying for our repairs. And having the wife get in the driver's seat to drive the car back to the condo. And afterwards heading back home to take a decent midday nap. Making my sleep in the span of 24 hours actually exceed 8 hours in total. I was able to clean up the condo a little bit before watching WWE Smackdown in the background and seeing another glitch on the screen. And after taking the screenshot and checking out the QR code, it took us to this image that we saw on the wife's phone. But going back to that other WWE glitch that we saw earlier in the week, after tracing out the letters and placing it on top of the original picture, it had led us to a website that had this mysterious video that we were able to record on the phone right here. Anyways guys, before leaving y'all for the night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of the wife's co-workers of whom I enjoyed playing alongside with in indoor volleyball when subbing in for Syrah's team. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Denise. Happy birthday, Denise. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Sleeping just over six hours last night. I'm just chilling today, preparing to go in for my first of two night shifts tonight. Ready to work for money in order to pay off the recent repairs for the mini. And speaking of work, before I go in for my shift, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my favorite co-workers who you guys know has made previous Live From Last Week cameos. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dina. Happy birthday, Dina. And we've also got birthday shout outs to one of my university buddies who I've been to Blue Jays games with in previous years past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jonathan. Happy birthday, Jonathan. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. With yet another busy night shift last night, going in at 7 p.m., yet leaving the hospital at 8 a.m., and having to dispense 31 doses of meds for only one of my six patients at 2200 hours last night, I was able to find solace going to the Our Lady of Lords Parish for Sunday morning mass post-shift, before getting an okay sleep at the condo, getting ready for my second shift in a row tonight, but this time, on the south side. Speaking of which, before I make my way to commute to work tonight, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my south side co-workers who, you guys know, I've done celebrations for New Year's with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Xenia. Happy birthday, Xenia. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So evidently, my shift last night was busy, but not stressful enough. Because when work called me this morning to pick up yet another shift on the south side, and me still needing money to pay off for the repairs for the mini, I just had to say yes. So after going to McDonald's this morning and getting a well-deserved Happy Meal, which when I opened it, initially didn't come with a toy, I went back to the front counter to get this limited edition Yu-Gi-Oh! slash Hello Kitty collectible of which I gave to the wife when I got in to the condo this morning. <laughs> How is it? Good. Good. I was able to take a quick four hour nap in order to get ready for my third night shift in a row tonight. But before we do that, we got a quick birthday shout out to one of my titas who has made several cameos in previous Laugh From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tita Elsie. Happy birthday, Tita Elsie. 
We also got a birthday greeting to one of my FGAR friends who I'm remembering during his university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, John. Happy birthday, John. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my indoor volleyball friends of whom you guys remember me playing alongside with during our Midtown Indoor Pickup Volleyball Sessions. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jeffrey. Happy birthday, Jeffrey. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways guys, before we finish it up for this busy episode, we actually have a surprise guest that will be visiting and staying over at the condo for the next couple of weeks. But you'll have to tune into next week's episode to find out who exactly it is. And with that, we'll wrap up this week's Laugh From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.